Hello, 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 hello from San Giovanni Rotondo. Hello from San Giovanni Rotondo on YouTube. Well, I am Brady White and for the past three years I have been doing and hosting Hello from San Giovanni Rotondo on the Tele Radio Padre Pio Network. Well, we are now on YouTube. Let me tell you a little bit about Hello from San Giovanni Rotondo. It is my idea to bring you the places that Padre Pio walked, lived, prayed for 50 years here during his time in San Giovanni Rotondo. Padre Pio prayed incessantly here in San Giovanni Rotondo. We visit the places in the shrine, we visit the paese, and also when I'm outside of San Giovanni Rotondo, whether it be in Europe, maybe in Rome or Florence, maybe in Germany, maybe when I'm in America. Something to do with Padre Pio. Padre Pio enjoyed life and wanted us to enjoy life. My idea with Hello from San Giovanni Rotondo is that we enjoy life. We thank God for the gifts that he has given us. At the end of each program, we pray the Hail Mary. That is the prayer that Padre Pio used as a weapon. He used his rosary as a weapon. So, in closing on Hello from San Giovanni Rotondo, we always remember all our brothers and sisters in prayer. Well, I hope that you become a follower of Hello from San Giovanni Rotondo. If you see this and like it, please pass it along to your friends. God bless you. May our Blessed Mother and Padre Pio always watch over, protect, and guide you and all those you love. Pace bene. Peace and goodwill from San Giovanni Rotondo. Hello from San Giovanni Rotondo. I am Brady White, your host. Welcome. I hope that you will enjoy the episodes I have chosen. So, let us sit back, relax, and enjoy. Well, people, have you seen a face like this before? This man has come to San Giovanni Rotondo, and there is nothing but joy in his heart. He has the most beautiful smile, and from the first time that we spoke, I could see that he is filled with the light of Christ, with the Holy Spirit. Uh, let me have him introduce himself to us. Father, your name, please. I am Father Joseph Echiru Oliachi. Father Joseph, okay. And Father, where are you from? I am from Uganda. You are from Uganda? Yes. Ah, I understand it is beautiful country. It is. It is. A lot of natural beauty, mountains, lakes. Oh, you have the mountains, yeah. you have the lakes. Yes. A natural beauty. Yeah. Kind of like you, you are a natural beauty. Yeah. Black beauty. <laughs> ah, my friend. Um, well, what I must say right off at the beginning, you know, when I meet the people from Uganda and the areas surrounding, you have the most beautiful teeth. Why? What do you eat that makes your teeth so beautiful? Yes, uh, since I came here in Italy, it has been a, a question, a perennial question. It, uh, oh, other people yes, ask? so many other people have asked. Generally, you the Africans, why are your teeth so clean, first of all? So I asked myself, we, we didn't know that this... <laughs> it is natural to you, it's just, just every day <laughs> to you. Yes, exactly. Interesting that, again, many times it always enters my mind, and I know why the Italians ask, because they spend many, many hours and a lot of money at the dentist to look similar to you. Probably. So God has blessed you and your people. Okay, now. We thank him for that. <laughs> well, now that we have that subject settled, yes. let's get down to, first of all, you are a priest at this time. Yes. Okay, you are. When were you ordained, Father? I was ordained in 2003. In 2003. Yes. In your country or in Rome? In my country. In your country. By your bishop? By my bishop. Okay. And now, where are you? I think you are in Italy now, am I correct? Yes. Where, Father? I came to Italy in 2006 and I was residing at Collegio San Paolo. 
Oh, you reside at the yes, College of St. Paulo? Yes, after the scholarship, I went to stay with the missionaries of La Salette. The missions of La Salette? Yes. Do you know that there is the shrine of La Salette in Massachusetts? I didn't know, but uh, the Superior General actually is from Massachusetts. The yes. yes. Um, is, is it um, Cardinal Sean O'Malley? Is he a cardinale? No. Oh no, he, but he is the spiritual uh, director of the La Salette. Interesting. Ah, yes. Well, maybe one day you will arrive in Massachusetts and go to La Salette. Probably. Uh, Father, yes. uh, how many years have you been studying in Rome and what are you studying? What are you, are you going for a thesis at this point? Yes, since 2006 up to this time, now we could say it was uh, about six years. Okay. Because I came in June and uh, in a two month time I will make six years here in Italy. I came for a licentiate in sacred scripture. Sacred scripture at is the, what your forte will be. At the biblicum, and then I moved on to Pontifical University of Urbaniana to do doctorate in biblical theology, which I finished a month ago. You do, congratulations, very difficult. Thank you. Have you gone in front of the court where you present your thesis? Have you done that yet? Yes, I did. Were you nervous? Somehow, but uh, I think I was far. I think you are a confident man because, again, I think you know that um, the spirit is within you. Um, did you mention now, did you say Angelicum to me? Did I hear the word Angelicum? Were you in the no. Angelicum College at one time? No. 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 Okay. Another very beautiful um, college in Rome, by the way. I don't know if you have visited, but very beautiful. Okay, now let's get down to Padre Pio. Yes. When was the first time you heard the name Padre Pio? It's long back. I cannot pin down exactly when. Already when I was in my country. Ah, but you heard of him yes. when you were in your country. so many people talk about him. And when I came to Italy, I was curious also. And uh, of course, here there's a lot, a lot of... He's talked about, or he talked about Padre Pio, and so uh, I, with this curiosity, I said I must also reach there. In Uganda, um, were you a priest at the time when you first heard, do you think, or were you a child, were you a young man? I think uh, when I was still a seminarian. Uh, I'm sorry? When I was still a student. A still a student? Okay, yes. fine. Always interesting to hear the story of when the people learn of Padre Pio. Yes. Now that you are in Italy, mm -hmm. and obviously Padre Pio surrounds us um, a, a lot more here, mm -hmm. um, you are now in San Giovanni Rotondo. Yes. How did this come about, Father? Did you write a letter to come and offer your services? Yes, building now on that curiosity, I wanted also before going back to my country, because I will be returning very soon, before returning to my country, I wanted to be here. I know that many people are going to ask me about Padre Pio. So I said I must first reach also there to, to the sanctuary of Padre Pio. So that is one of the reasons why I came this way. And then on top of that, as a priest, I came also to offer the pastoral, ordinary pastoral ministry. Uh, Father, you are in San Giovanni Rotondo. Uh, many people, uh, do you see many people coming for confessions to to free themselves of their sins here in a shrine like um, Padre Pio's shrine? Yes, so many. So many? So many uh, people, yes. Uh, Father, your thoughts, when people visit a Mariam shrine, when the people visit Lourdes or Fatima, uh, Padre Pio, does this give them the opportunity, or do you think that there is more openness of the heart when a person comes, uh, maybe as a, um, as a devotee, but maybe out of curiosity, do you think that when they are in a place like this, a very holy place, do you think that it helps open their hearts to want to confess, Father? What is your thought? It depends, I think. What a number, I think, uh, find it very easy to, to make their confessions here and very freely. Mm. Uh, and Padre Pio, of course, you know, you have learned more and more about him, and that he obviously almost lived in the confessional. He, this was his, exactly. his power, he, uh, saving the souls, huh? And I think also it is one reason why those who come here would like to confess. 
because they build on that. That Padre Pio was a man of confessions. Uh, Father, have you uh, traveled the world at all? You, I know you are somewhat of a younger priest, but have you done any mission work? Uh, uh, have you done any pastoral work during your vacations from school, uh, from college? Have you gone to another country or have you served in Italy somewhere? Yes, during summer, in, this, in all these years, practically, I've had an experience in different parts here in Italy. I've also Italy. been to Germany. Oh, you went to Germany? I, I was in Germany also for uh, pastoral ministry. Uh, where was the last one? You, la last one, that was last year. Yes, but you went to Germany and did you go? I, no, I went to Germany, that was uh, two, three years ago. Uh -huh. yeah. And any other place? Did, did you go to another country? It was, it's been Italy and for Germany. For the purposes of studies, yes, I went to the Holy Land. Oh, did you? Yes. Very much a blessing, huh? Yes. I myself had the very great blessing of being able to go, and I planted a tree. Ah, wow. Well, I'm sure when I left the area that they picked the tree up and sell it to another person, but... <laughs> but the <laughs> thought... It's still there. <laughs> People, did you see that smile? Look at that face now, I'm telling you. Okay, so Father. Um, now again, in your country, I know that there's, music is very important uh, when you are in church and uh, when you are praying. I have a funny feeling that you are a little bit of a singer. Yes. Do you sing a little bit? I sing. Uh, Father, just in a very simple way, is there a song in your language for your people? Because this particular program uh, not only will be seen worldwide on Tele Radio Padre Pio, but it will also be available worldwide on YouTube. Yes. So if you have um, a greeting for the people in Uganda, you can make that. But I always like to ask the Padres who come from a different area, a different country, especially when they have a face like yours, I, I can sense that there is music inside that wants to come out. Uh, would it be, are you embarrassed? Could you sing just a small, a uh, song in Uganda, something to do with Maria or something to do with uh, Jesus. Could you do something like that for me? You know, 30 seconds, 10 seconds. Yeah. Please. Yoga, 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 Maria. Yoga, 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 Maria. Oh, be Father, beautiful. Oh, my goodness. So it is our song, too. I mean, you know, Italian, yeah. American. Oh, Maria. Beautiful, Father. Okay, now, in closing, yes. will you speak to your people yes. in your language? Yes. But please give a blessing in your language to all of us who are watching Hello from San Giovanni Rotondo oh, yeah. and for all their intentions and for those that they think of, okay? Yes. Please give us a blessing, Father. Yes. 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 The way we conclude our greeting, even when we meet ordinarily as we part from each other, that is how we conclude saying bye bye, kidari. Oh, so you said goodbye. Yes. May God bless you. May God bless you. Yeah. Well, my friend, I can only say it's been a great joy talking to you and seeing you here in San Giovanni Rotondo. Uh, how much longer will you remain here? I will be here up to the end of May. To the end of May? Yeah. People, if you happen to see the video and you're coming to San Giovanni Rotondo, Search out the smiling face and uh, you will be able to meet Father. And uh, Father, when do you go back to your country? At the end of June? At the end of August. At the end of? August. At the end of August. Yes. Okay. Well, safe travels to you. Thanks indeed. <laughs> and may Padre Pio and our Blessed Mother always be with you, watching over you, protecting you, and guiding you on this rocky road of life. Thanks very much. Thank you very much, and God bless you, my You're friend. Welcome. God bless you too. Oh, wait a minute. I know you know the song, Hello, Hello, correct? Uh, yes. Okay, will you close for us? Goodbye, goodbye. Yes. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. goodbye, goodbye. goodbye. From San Giovanni Rotondo. Goodbye, goodbye. <laughs>
Okay, that's it, people. He's done. Thank you again, Father. God bless you. God bless you. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Let us not forget our brothers and sisters during this time. Let us pray now the prayer that Padre Pio loved so very much, the Hail Mary. Let us remember as we offer this Hail Mary for all of you who are watching, hello from San Giovanni Rotundo, for those you are thinking of, for those that are close in your heart, for those who are alone and have no one to remember them, for those who are involved in disasters and war throughout the world, for the unborn, for peace in this world, for the Holy Father, for his intentions, for all the priests and clergy, religious and missionaries, that they may have the strength to continue God's work. For all our family, our friends, and our enemies, for all those who are suffering in the homes, the hospitals, and the jails, for all those who have died, our loved ones, for all the souls in purgatory, that they may rest in peace. For all your intentions, please join me in the Hail Mary. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Our Lady of Grace, pray for us. St. Pio, pray for us. Now remember, you can email us at PadrePioInfo at AOL.com. Again, PadrePioInfo at AOL.com. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye.